free trial background check options so in this video I'm going to go over um, some of the best background check options that people have the public has available to them and uh, we're not necessarily going to be looking for uh, free trial background checks we're going to be looking at things that could be done for free and then things that could be done at a reasonable price so uh, sometimes it could even be better than free trial so that there's no hoops to jump through uh, it's just a very direct uh, type uh, very direct resources that you can utilize uh, so I'm gonna have to uh, pick a state here to show you how this works most states have a very similar process except for a couple of states that do make it slightly more difficult than others so let's go with Georgia for this example and the first thing that uh, you'll see is a name search and this is an instant search it will allow you to look at uh, a nation it's a it's a nationwide look and at somebody's uh, records it also covers certain databases that the public records won't cover like say phone numbers social media things like that but it does this in combination with public records this is instant um, if you don't have a lot of time uh, try this out I'd like to use both uh, get a big picture view and then if I need to zoom in on something particular like a particular state or maybe even a particular court case I will do that at the local level because local level records are going to be direct these are the most up-to-date um, and the most dependable information out there in my opinion uh, it's directly from the state so I don't know if it gets any better than that uh, so your essentials when it comes to background checks would be court records uh, recorder's office criminal records driving records business lookup sexual offender registry also at the county level <clears throat> you have certain variations of this like court records again recorder's office arrests mugshots property records so if you want to see if somebody owns uh, some real estate just type their name and uh, you're able to look at that information uh, and a lot of these resources that I just named off are actually going to be free without any trials or anything like that they're just public information without uh, restrictions anybody could look at them so let's uh, take a look at uh, criminal records here and then we're going to take a look at court records so what does uh, state of Georgia offer you state of Georgia has a a name search all you need is a name and a date of birth and what they'll do is a statewide check for 15 bucks it's not it's not a free trial but that's a very reasonable price and this is this comes directly from the state so it is limited to the state of Georgia now all most states will have options similar to this prices are going to vary but it's usually very reasonable uh, it is going to be limited to the state of Georgia as you know people move around these days people travel so there could be things in other places it might not pick up so it's a good idea to check neighbor neighboring states or combine this search like I was talking about earlier with a nationwide check um, so if you don't want to pay uh, for the criminal records from the state you can also do a court search which covers criminal and civil records so anything that um, oh, could, will come up on criminal records you should technically be able to pull up using court records because anytime somebody gets arrested they have to go see a judge that creates a court record court records are public records and so you're able to um, in a lot of cases you're able to gain access to court records for free especially at the county level sometimes states will offer you a statewide check like in this case you have that option uh, and sometimes you have to check at the county level and a lot of times you can do it for free at the county level uh, they might have um, a lot of places now a days are getting more digital so you're able to do the search online sometimes you actually have to go into the courthouse and they have these uh, terminals that you can use uh, to search for background check information for free so just uh, a piece of information there uh, so if you're looking at court records you have you have a different courts 
that deal with different situations so if you need to look at civil records let's say civil matters under 45,000 um, you have a particular court that will deal with that if it's say like a felony type of an offense a superior court will deal with that if you're looking at a court or a traffic cases that would be like municipal court and then the if, the, if they can't figure this out at the lower uh, courts it goes to upper courts so like the court of appeal supreme court so you're able to uh sometimes if you find a single database don't necessarily assume that that's the only one uh, you have to sometimes check multiples and uh, what the sheriff's department.net offers you is a look at all the different courts within the state and how you can gain access uh, to those databases and a lot of times this could be done for free some of them will charge you some money but again it's uh, this is information that comes from the state so a lot of times it's very reasonable if it's not free uh, then you have um, a couple of other things you can look at also for free which is uh, like for instance driving records if you have a driver's license a number you could actually check the status of it for free here in the state of Georgia some uh, states will offer this service also uh, you have the sex offender registry every state has a a statewide database and sometimes uh, the local sheriff's department will have their own these can be searched for free also uh, you have professional licensing and business searches so if you want to look up a contractor or a doctor or just the, any kind of a professional if you want to make sure everything is legit with the state uh, you can do that for free uh, also so there are multiple options to uh, for the public out there and I'll go ahead and drop the link in the description or just type sheriff's department net in your browser and you can come down here and check it out for yourself thanks for listening